Hello and welcome to this preview of the Agriculture Workshop as part of the Robotics Roadmap for Australia version 2. My name is Sue Kay and I'm the Research Director for Cyber Physical Systems at CSIRO's Data61 and I played a driving role in putting together the first Robotics Roadmap for Australia. So my task before you join us on the 21st of May is to give you a bit of a background about the original robotics roadmap and in particular the agriculture sector and what we found. So the first robotics roadmap for Australia was released in June 2018. And some of the things I guess that we discovered when we were looking at the roadmap was we focused on different areas of the um, sectors of Australia that were important to our economy and clearly agriculture is a very important sector to the Australian economy. Um, this diagram here represents the different sectors of our economy as recognised by the Australian Bureau of Statistics and the value that they hold. Um, on the right hand side of the, doc the diagram um, in the blue are all the areas where, which produce revenue for Australia while on the left in the purple are the areas where Australia invests money into the sector. So agriculture is very important for the revenue of Australia. And the reason that it's coloured orange is that it, that is a representation of how much agriculture is actually adopting robotics and automation into uh, different practices. And when I talk about agriculture, I talk about it in the very broadest sense to also include fisheries and forestry. So while there are some really interesting projects happening in robotics and automation in Australia, we've still got it rated at experimenting for differentiation. Because I think if you were to drive out across most parts of Australia and, and look out for any robotic technologies, uh, they would probably be quite hard to find. So while there is quite a, um, a, a lot of interesting activity happening in the agriculture sector, there's a lot of room for greater application. And that's what we want to explore in this workshop. So what we found in the first version of the roadmap was that everyone thinks that ag tech is going to be worth a huge amount in the future, um, up to $250 billion. And that in Australia, it is obviously an extremely important industry. It employs um, um, quite a lot of people. Uh, we have some issues around uh, Australia's ageing population in terms of encouraging people to work out on the land. And this is a reason why developing suitable robotics technologies is very important for the robotics um, sector. And I think one of the things that distinguishes agriculture from many of the other sectors of the Australian economy, at least where the application of robotics technologies is concerned, is the sheer volume of different robotic technologies that can be applied, from autonomous vehicles to uh, IoT sensor networks, drones. Uh, there really is a huge range of opportunities that are open for application in the agriculture sector if the conditions are right. And that's what we really want to explore. What are those conditions? And what are the areas where we can apply robotics to the agriculture sector? So some of the areas that we thought when we were putting the first roadmap together um, are areas that made a lot of sense are things like precision agriculture and how we can apply robotic technologies to assist, how we can help with farm-based biofactories so mass producing medicines, vaccines and other things. And then also how we can support both the well-being of animals and of the farmer themselves um, by applying these technologies, uh, as well as the important task of quality control by monitoring um, animal herds and crops. So these were just a few of the things that we identified as being important applications of technology in robotics, but I'm sure you can think of many more. And we would love to uncover more examples of some of the innovative uses of robotics technologies and also the innovative creation of robotics technologies in Australia that is being applied in agriculture. So one of the reasons that we're putting a second version of the roadmap together is to keep some of the momentum going from the first roadmap. 
we believe that the first road map really led to quite a, a, a raising of the awareness level about robotics in Australia and in particular the importance of the development of robotics technologies here in country so that we have sovereign capability. We particularly want to flesh out our 5, 10 and 15 year horizons. So what are the technologies that uh, we uh, should be developing over this time horizon, these time horizons? And where is it that Australia can make a difference? While it might be that we can adopt some technologies from other parts of the world, there are also areas where it's important that Australia takes hold of the unique capabilities that we have and actually look at where we can make a difference. We would really dearly love to keep unearthing capability that exists in Australia so that we can highlight a lot of the talent that is here and hopefully improve the investment conditions so that we can ensure that a lot of the talent and technologies that we develop here can remain here in Australia. And our ultimate goal is to bring the currently fragmented and immature robotics industry in, into, in Australia and help to make it a much more mature ecosystem so that we have best conditions for success possible. So as part from joining the workshop and helping us today uh, on the 21st, what you could also do is we have got a survey as it's not ideal having to do the workshop under virtual conditions because of COVID-19, we would still like to hear from you. So please complete the survey and uh, give us details about your thoughts on how we can best apply robotics in the agriculture sector. Thank you very much to my co-chairs who are helping put on the agriculture workshop as part of the Robotics Roadmap for Australia. And if you want any further details, please visit the Robotics Australia Network website. You'll find a link to the survey, a link to recordings of all of the presentations that have happened as part of developing this second version of the Robotics Roadmap. And you will find a recording of, the, um, of this particular um, segment on that website as well. So please um, have, a, have a look. Thank you for participating in the Agriculture Workshop and we look forward to producing an influential version two of the Robotics Roadmap for Australia. Thank you.